Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkfest build. As you can see, unfortunately, I'm back home. I'm not out there with the boys, but I'm back here. I've been resting and rehabbing my ankle for the last few days. It's getting better and better every day, but unfortunately there are three ruptured ligaments in there, some bone bruising, a couple of small fractures. So it is taking quite a long time to get better, but hopefully in another week or so, um, I can be back out there and fingers crossed, riding with everyone, with all the best riders in the world. For now, the build is in safe hands. Justin and Duran are absolutely smashing it. The course is looking incredible. So make sure you check out the next build video, which is gonna be hosted by Teo. I'm looking forward to seeing that myself. Um, but for now, we decided to put together a load of awesome clips, some unseen interviews, and put together this video from last year, just to get super excited for this year. And I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you out there next week. Fingers crossed riding, and yeah, enjoy. Cheers. It's the best feeling in the world. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears, especially a bit of blood from my arm, actually went into building and testing the course for the first time and getting it right over all these years. And now, yeah, giving other guys the opportunity, I guess, to come and do what they can do on it is, is just awesome. Dude, I've wanted to flip that jump for years. <laughs> yeah, things really go zero to 100 in two minutes, not even five. You can be looking around and then everyone's chilling and all of a sudden, Tom and BMW are dropping into the 110 and launching it for the first time. It's like, no, they don't even tell anyone and suddenly they're just flying off and everyone sees that and everyone wants to join in with the fun. Oh. Yes, dude. Oh, I'm still terrifying. Oh, the energy is completely unmatched in this house of any event I've ever been to. That's what people take up to the course, and that's why I think you, you, you see their absolute best, their absolute pinnacle, which is what we've always tried to cultivate. And yeah, still seems to be working, but that's totally down to the crew who come, you know? Like, Darkfest would be nothing without these guys and girls coming and doing what they do and being as crazy as they are, all because of them. So nuts, eh? Oh, big up to be anyway. Taking a crash, going back up, first run almost, 110, boom, that's it. Dude, I give it, I gave a lot, huh? Whew. I, I scrubbed the road gap, pumped the fing roller, pumped, and made it like two meters deep maximum. 
but we believe that it can be done and that is stronger than the fear. And when you overcome your fear with that and then it rewards you with, uh, with, with that rush, you know, that's, that's something nothing can give you the same. The guys are just shredding the 110. What the hell? <laughs> Sick. <sighs> Blown. Dude, that's, that's the most ridiculous airtime feeling ever. Like, it's not describable. As if you had no bicycle at all because you didn't need it. Because it, everything, it did everything for you. But it's relatively easy. No, I, it just I, completely yeah. does it for you. It's oh well, yeah, for sure. It's, it's better and than what, a 90 even. Fully pinned. I have to go down and celebrate Ramsey. Get it, bro. <laughs> is that the best thing <laughs> ever or what? This is insane. How can it be that perfect? Going down heavy, so I got all inspired and ripped it back here. It was a little, little sketchy. I like landed back wheel and deep, and just like grabbed a handful of back brake. I managed to land it, and then got another one after. So I'm so stoked. But man, I've done some scary stuff today. And dreams right there. Coming to Darkfest has been honestly like one of those things that you've thought about for so long and then showing up here and seeing how big it actually is. And the speed you have is absolutely mind blowing. It's literally a real life roller coaster that you're in control of. Yeah, my expectation with tricks was uh, I really put a lot of pressure on myself to actually uh, bring a lot of moto tricks that I've kind of always had the thought of that it might work and it could work It's just you need jumps that big to have that much time and just finding these jumps in itself is unreal And it's unlocked so many tricks that I honestly came here Not even thinking that I was gonna get that far down a trick list But it brings so much fear, but at the same time It's like a satisfying like slow motion video when you're in there doing it literally the biggest course that can swallow you alive and just finally 
you know, taming it.